Uh, we'll start with a question from Jody Demo. Chris, hey, can you just talk about the last couple days and how, or the last couple weeks and how crazy it's been? And as you prepare for Wisconsin, what it's been like to maybe have some guys get them, get some back at different times, and and maybe where you are with 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 everybody, you know, as a group right now, just two days before you, you go back onto the court. Well, as you know, everything is unusual uh, this college basketball season and off season. Uh, so when we learned that, that, you know, we had an individual that was a positive test on that Thursday night before we made Greensboro, you know, through contact tracing, uh, we made the decision, and rightfully so, not to play the game. And uh, over the next couple of days, uh, you know, both student athletes and staff, uh, there were a couple positives. And so uh, I think there was a little bit of a misunderstanding out there. And, you know, we're, we're trying to you know, protect our players in terms of, you know, health to the public. But at the same time, you know, we're also trying to be transparent with what's going on in our program. And and we decided that that we just simply couldn't play the game against NC State. We didn't have enough available players. And so I think when people see, well, why? Why not? You know, you resume practice. Doesn't mean all your individuals are back to practice. It just means the ones that are back uh, were determined to be, uh, you know, not direct contacts and had enough negative tests in order to return to the court. So we didn't return as a whole unit uh, when we began practicing on uh, Saturday, just past Saturday. So uh, we're still in the process of getting you know players back uh, at various stages. I'll leave it at that. It's been unusual. It's been crazy. But we're not the only team dealing with that in, uh, in this season. Go to Shannon and then Russ. Uh, yeah, I was curious to get your thoughts on Wisconsin. You know, it's a, a tough team you're going to face on their home court, but also wondered if your familiarity with guys like Ford and Trice and Davison personally has any helps you guys in any way to kind of know what their habits and styles are. Well, you know, when I was a head coach and we faced them, Shannon, they were freshmen, and uh, as typical with with Wisconsin type players, they've all improved greatly uh, throughout the course of their career. Uh, they're veteran seniors now. It's amazing from a uh, from an age standpoint, their team looks a lot like our team did a year ago. You know, they have five or six uh, seniors, uh, several of which are fifth year seniors. You know, that's so unusual uh, in today's game, especially guys that as a fifth year senior uh, aren't necessarily coming from other places. I know Micah Potter did, but all those other guys started right there um, at the University of Wisconsin. So uh, we have great respect for their talent level their experience, their system, their style of play. Uh, I I feel like they play a little bit uh, freer on offense. I think with the veterans that Coach Guard has, he allows those guys to make more decisions uh, and attack and transition, maybe more than than I'm used to with the Wisconsin team. But um, again, their identity doesn't change despite, you know, names and faces changing over the years. They're going to post you, they're going to shoot the the three, and they're going to play very physical man-to-man defense. Russ? Yeah, Chris, Russ Mack. Uh, <laughs> Russ Mack. Russ Brown. Um, what does Williamson's return mean, and is he where he back to where he was before he got hurt? You talking about Samuel? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sa- Sam's return means a whole lot. You know, he's uh, one of our better scorers. He's a guy that plays with extreme confidence. I think he takes the pressure off some of our perimeter players. Uh, he has the ability to create his own shot and get to his pull up. Uh, he's a really good rebounder. And I think one of the most important things, he's extremely competitive. And so, um, you know, we weren't sure how long he was going to be out when uh, he went out against Prairie View A&M. Uh, we knew that he was not going to play against Western. Uh, it was sort of up in the air for Greensboro. And he's responded uh, extremely well here over the last week or so in practice. So uh, we're, we're confident that, that Sam sort of turned the corner and, he does give us a lot. Go to Ken Spencer and then Tim. Yeah, Chris, the, the break was was a long one. How important was it to get this Wisconsin game back on the books just to get you guys back on the court a little bit? And almost, it, it's so weird, even though you guys are 4-0, does it almost feel like you guys are kind of resetting and restarting the season? Um, I don't know. It's uh, maybe, you know, 
the biggest challenge was, was trying to get our team back in shape. You know, I, I think the longest break that I've ever given a team has been four days over Christmas. And again, none of those guys, you know, during those Christmas breaks were sick. <laughs> so you ask them to get in their high school gym, you ask them to do a little bit, they come back and, um, you know, you generally give as many off days over Christmas as you can afford knowing whenever your next game is. You know, here we took off nine days basically and didn't practice. And some of those guys weren't allowed to leave their rooms. So uh, it was a challenge just to get our guys back in shape. I'm sure we're not 100 percent there. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't necessarily feel like we're starting you know, the, the season over, but um, it certainly you know, feels a little awkward trying to get your guys back in shape midseason. Tim? Yeah, Chris, as, as you try to balance getting back in shape and knowing that the virus is still out there, have you instituted any new protocols or precautions uh, knowing that you're going to be traveling and, and uh, that you've got the Kentucky game a week uh, out? Well, we haven't necessarily um, implemented any, anything new. Um, traveling for our team, Tim, is new. And there are several different you know, procedures and things that we're going to have to do that's going to be um, vastly different uh, from testing the day of, the day before, to, you know, how we sit on the bus, to after the game, not allowed to eat the meal on the bus or the plane, uh, you know, roommate situations, how often we can meet. Uh, it is what it is. You know, that that's just sort of part of it. Um, I felt like our guys did an incredible job in the golf house. Um, staying there for nine or 10 days. Again, who knows how it was contracted, but I know it wasn't because of our guys' foolishness or breaking curfew uh, or anything like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, by and large, our guys have done a great job. And, you know, knock on wood, 90% of our team's had it <laughs> so um, and recovered, thankfully. So, uh, you know, unless something crazy would happen, I think, you know, the better part of the team's already had it and doesn't have to worry about it from here on out. Thanks. Go to Matt and then Russ. Hey, Coach, this is Matt McGavick with Sports Illustrated. You mentioned earlier that you're still working on trying to get your full complement of players back from contract tracing and whatnot. Uh, one, how many scholarship players do you think will be available versus Wisconsin? And as a quick follow-up to that, what's the status on uh, Josh Nickelberry as of right now? Yeah, my guess is seven or eight scholarship players will be available um, against Wisconsin. Uh, Josh Nickelberry's status... Uh, you know, he is beginning to turn the corner. He's doing more uh, in workouts, and uh, I'm hopeful that, that we can get him going in a week or so, uh, depending on how his knee responds to those workouts. Russ? Yeah, Chris, do you uh, expect the NC State game to be rescheduled? Absolutely. I mean, it's a conference game. Uh, we have plenty of time. We're in the middle of December. Um, you know, I'm sure there are going to be cancellations and postponements as we move throughout the conference season. But, um, you know, our intention, just like it was with Wisconsin, was to reschedule the game at some point. And uh, I'm sure our administrations are doing everything they can to figure out the date. To Ken Spencer. Chris, just due to all the injuries that you guys have had, you know, to start this season, you guys have had a lot of guys who probably are playing a lot more minutes than they would, you know, if you were 100% healthy. Can that maybe help you guys in the long run of a season? Because, you know, the people like J.J. Trainer and Dre Davis are getting more minutes than, than maybe they would have before. Yeah, I sure hope so. I mean, I think that, you know, one guy's you know, lost opportunity becomes another guy's opportunity. And, uh, you know, they're going to get to experience some things in games where, you know, failure happens and they, they get to learn from it. Uh, they don't necessarily just have to sit on the sideline and, and, and learn what a Dwayne Sutton or Jordan War is doing. And, you know, if they were out there, what would happen? So, yeah, they're getting great game experience. Uh, I'd like to think that, you know, as we move into uh, different months here over the winter, that we become a fuller team roster wise. And those guys now have greater experience than they would have uh, had they had the, that, those opportunities. Seeing no other questions, that'll close us out for the day. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thanks, everybody, for.